Pramod from uh, Gyaniki. Uh, we are a future mobility knowledge partner. We are trying to harness uh, information on the EV mobility space. And uh, we are sure that Sterling is uh, having a roadmap. And uh, please give us an insight of how is the preparedness from engineering and production. Yeah. So uh, from Sterling side, I mean, this is a company in joint venture with uh, GTEC. This is Shenzhen based company. And in terms of the preparedness, we have product available from 1 kilowatt to 225 kilowatt. And uh, this is uh, low speed two wheeler to high speed two wheeler LCV, SCV, and high commercial vehicles. This is what the range is available. And uh, we are coming up with the motor partnership also. And we are coming up with the battery also. So when you say partnership, that gives me a, a good question to ask. Uh, which product is the key thing at Sterling and which are the other products which you are partnering? Uh, see, I mean, we are there into MCU and the product line where we want to come, that is only a technology product. I mean, we, we do not want to go to the legacy product. Always we want to partnership with technology product. And here you can see uh, the product which is right behind of me. This is a magnet, magnetless motor. So this is what the technology we want to bring here in India. Okay, and from the, when it say magnetless motors, we know magnet is one of the key components which is crucial and not available. Do you think this will favor the market? Uh, yes, because if you see, uh, we can also increase the kilowatt power, and then uh, this will be this is the uh, even the magnetless, copperless, and uh, this will be the future product. So, in terms of efficiency, uh, is also good. Then, do you think there is also a commercial benefit what the consumer would see? Yes. Definitely. So if you compare the existing product, definitely the efficiency, the torque and everything is increases. Definitely it will give the bigger benefit. What are the key applications uh, which the motor control unit is being offered and the motor is being offered to? Okay, if you see the motor control unit, we are uh, the very good design team and even we have the engineering activities and we are validating completely here and uh, even it's IP67 product, the so quality wise is always better. Good. So I see a very interesting uh, system over here. Uh, do you do also in-house uh, simulation at uh, in India? Yes. So even uh, we are, it's a, we have the automation product, and we are checking the durability, temperature, even the elect electronic specification, the temperature specifications. Completely the validation we are doing in-house. Uh, what uh, tools do you use? For example, GT Suite or uh, uh, so for the design development mechanical, we are using the Creo and ANSYS simulation and even the AutoCAD, uh, even the software I am using the GitHub and the complete life cycle management I am using PLM. So that uh, give me one uh, insight on the resource management, right? We know the EV mobility space is picking up. Uh, how, uh, how critical is it for you to have retention of people in the organization and what steps have you been uh, taking? See, uh, uh, this is the biggest challenge not us, everybody is fa facing in the CV industry. So, uh, two things, I mean, uh, we have done. One, uh, I mean, uh, we have a setup in Faridabad and the other setup we are having in Bangalore. So, uh, uh, just in a retention policy, we want to be here, we want to be there in Bangalore. So, uh, we can get a good talent and we can retain the talent also. And the same way, I mean, the bigger customer base are available in southern part of India. So, putting up these two location, we will be able to cater that also. So, in, in case of this return, I know Bangalore is another place where people would love to come back. And then in terms of retention, uh, I'm going to the next question of uh, how are you handling training in the organization? Do you have a identified training partner or do you see that there is an in-house trainer? Uh, if you see uh, the work wise, uh, because uh, here the whoever comes, the resources, they can do in and out. Uh, so even we have the in-house training, even the outside also. The, uh, especially motor control unit, we, are, we have the experts on the mechanical, we have the experts on the electronics. So we are doing in, inside the, all the trainings are handled. Even the people are happy because uh, the technical content, what they are learning. Even I can see the two years experience inside Sterling and equivalent to six years of the experience outside. That the knowledge they are gaining so far faster excellent so i'm sure uh, with engineers coming up who are the customers at the moment for you sir uh, so we have a lot of customers uh, mainly two wheeler three wheeler and lcv segments uh, specifically you know vola we are already supplying um, you know the mass production is going for vola is our major customer and uh, apart from that ampere uh, then talk motor so, so these are our customer in uh, low voltage and low capacity controllers 
whereas in high voltage side we are you know already working with some of the um, customers key customers um, but that, that's going to come in production maybe in another three to four months duration I mean, uh, if you if I summarize if I'll sum up all this actively uh, we we are supplying to 13 customer in India and uh, we are actively engaged with 40 other customers so a customer portfolio yes total 53 customer are there where we are either supplying or we are engaging with them or handling their development oh excellent 13 customers is quite huge and I'm sure if from the production point of view where is the location is it in Bangalore or is it in Faridabad so initial location is in Faridabad so whatever production uh, localized production we are doing that is in Faridabad Bangalore is our engineering center and a design center and we are putting up a testing facility also in Bangalore and we have a plan to come up with the new facility in Bangalore as well excellent and um, coming from the supply chain uh, where most of the okay from you from there is magnetless uh, motor definitely which is the other um, critical hurdle for you from the supply chain what do you think is missing uh, in your company and for the EV industry first let me give you ask what is as a supply chain issue for you and then in the EV industry what do you think uh, is a supply chain issue for example battery or controls the uh, supply chain side, uh, yes, of course, uh, there is a challenge for the uh, semiconductor devices, mainly the MOSFET, DSP, these are the ICs. Uh, but we uh, very well planned almost, you know, um, more than one year back based on the consideration of our future volumes and other things. Now, uh, our JV partner, GTAC, is supporting us on the supply chain perspective because they are uh, buying, you know, the bulk quantity from uh, uh, the manufacturer and they're keeping in stock and we are uh, getting it from them. So, in this way, we are managing our volume as per customer requirement without any hurdle. Okay, volume brings me an interesting. What's the forecast for uh, this year which you have projected? <laughs> This is the toughest challenge, even though, I mean, we are not very sure that, uh, see, the predictability what we are having, that is only for three months, not more than that. Even though this is the continuous fight, continuous request, continuous discussion, dialogue we are having with our customer, but customer is also saying, I mean, EV industry, this is the only forecast I am having. So if you want to predict me a year or two year volume, I'm sorry, I'll not so be maybe able. a rough figure, ballpark, maybe 50,000 for a year and uh, in next year, maybe 100,000 uh, see I mean uh, you can say that uh, in, in terms of the two-wheeler space uh, this this year I think two-wheeler is going to be close with the uh, uh, six lakh and uh, next year might be it, it's going to be double up Wow, that's phenomenal right and from the three-wheeler three-wheeler is hundred percent electrification now I mean you won't see any gasoline or diesel three-wheeler is coming up everyone is converting into the electrification for both passenger and uh, cargo applications yes okay and uh, my last questions with the government policies what do you think uh, you need or use beneficial at the moment and any modifications do you want to ask for the government see uh, of course I mean uh, whatever EV sale is happening that is because of the government sale, government support only I mean if they'll remove this uh, fame subsidy and all uh, again uh, tomorrow it will be so costly that people won't be able to buy it so one is I mean if this fame subsidy and all will be continue that will be really really good then the other one is I mean just to promote EV sale this infrastructure and everything that is really support required from the government excellent and uh, what's your uh, company strength in terms of blue collars and white collar uh, white collars engineering what's your strength uh, so uh, I can say that our 40 40 40 five percent people are working in engineering so again uh, I mean like uh, the concept what we are following we are following with our JB partner concept they maximum invest in R&D and similarly we are also investing in okay who is your JB partner please JB partner is GTEC GTEC okay so yeah, it's a partnership form and then on the training do you see that uh, if you have a you know, if you have a third party partnership for training all your hundred percent do you think that's going to help you uh, so training basically uh, because it's a motor control the specific knowledge is required where we gained already knowledge so that's what we give more on the internal training and the hands-on training even whatever we give training on the slide it won't work out so more on the on-job training okay thank you thank you so much so to sum up i would say thank you very much for uh, the insights all the best and then you can always in case if you see that there's an opportunity that gyaniki will help you to make a, a report on any part not only motor and motor control it could be battery or any automotive components on the ev area please you have the contacts yeah thank you very much thank you for your time thank you